All right, so you're headed to the gym. You have on your new outfit, you got some new tights, some new shoes, headphones are fully charged, you've got your water, but are you missing the most important part? I get asked super frequently, hey LV, what is the most important thing for me to eat before a workout? So today I'm gonna answer that question for you. We're gonna dive right in and you're going to know exactly what to do so that you can reach your fitness goals. Hey guys, my name is Lauren Valentino and I've been helping women with their nutrition and fitness for well over a decade so that they can thrive in bodies that they're madly in love with. So have you ever heard of nutrient timing? Nutrient timing is literally just a sexy way to say what you eat before and after a workout. So one of the most valuable things that you can do if you're reaching any fitness goal is to be properly fueled. So you know, just let's use the car analogy. So the fuel you use matters. You definitely would not want to go put regular gas inside of a diesel engine, vice versa. You would not want to, you also wouldn't want to stick a candy bar in a gas tank. You're not going to get very far. Okay. So same analogy applies when we're talking about feeding our bodies properly for performance, for endurance, for how we feel through a workout for strength gains and for fat loss. Every single bit of this matters for what we eat pre-workout. Of course, post-workout as well, but this one we're gonna chat about pre-workout. And so it's important to know that you absolutely have to master the basics before you can go the extra, okay? So the basics are getting healthy, balanced meals regularly, eating plenty of calories, and eating plenty of vegetables. These are things that are super important for your overall health and are going to make a difference for your performance. So tap in and master the basics before you dive into being extra with your nutrition planning. But today, we are gonna talk about exactly what to fuel your body with before a workout. Um, so glycogen stores in the body, so this is our energy stores. These are stored um, in our muscle tissue and in our livers, our liver, liver. And so um, glycogen stores take 24 to 36 hours to replenish. So what that means is that how your workout is today truly matters so much on what you ate yesterday. So if you're having a cruddy workout, you can probably look at what your day looked like yesterday. Did you miss some meals? Did you go low on calories? Or did you eat a bunch of sugar? That's all going to make a difference in how your performance is in the gym today. So um, glycogen is a form of glucose that our body warehouses for the future, okay? So it's future energy stored. But nutrient timing matters so much. And so going into the gym or going into an Orange Theory class, a yoga class, a workout class, you want to make sure that you're supporting your body in being able to perform what you're asking it to perform. So you want to make sure that you're eating 60 to 90 minutes before you exercise. You definitely do not want to be thinking about what you just ate as you're doing burpees, okay? So you wanna make sure you give yourself plenty, time, plenty of time to digest your food. Um, but you, what you want to avoid are things that take longer to digest. So you want to avoid fiber, you want to avoid fats. So fats can take up to nine hours to digest in our bodies. And when all of our blood is in our guts trying to break down what we just fed ourselves, it can't be in our muscle tissue. One is gonna to have to sacrifice for the other. And if you're asking your body to speed up, to do more, you're hitting those burpees, then the blood is gonna be in your muscle versus your gut. So you're gonna have some digestion issues. It's just not gonna go well, okay? You're gonna feel like you're dragging a bag of rocks through your whole workout. Not good. Um, so you want to make sure, it's super simple. You wanna make sure that you have good, quality, easily digestible carbs and protein. So examples of this, eggs and grits. If you're a Southern girl, like I am, eggs and grits, um, chicken and sweet potato, ground turkey and rice. These are things that your body can break up easily and put to use immediately. So you wanna make sure that your pre-workout meal looks like protein and carbs. Now. 
definitely for my early birds. So I get a lot of questions about this. Hey girl, I work out at five o'clock in the morning or you know, you're hitting it, your early bird gets the worm, right? So you're out and at it early. You wanna make sure that you have a quality dinner. If you're not a person that's like, hey, I don't wanna wake up an extra hour early to cook and eat, or if you're a person that feels like, I don't really do good if I eat right before a workout, it feels like it weighs me down, then you wanna make sure that you have a good quality meal the night before if you're going super early. You may wanna grab something that can get into your body fast, like some um, grapefruit juice, a rice cake, something that your body can break down really quickly and you can put to use immediately if you're going super early. If you're just someone who can't have food close to a workout, you need to, that's even more important that you master the basics so that your body has fuel to, to pull from, okay? So if you have any questions on that, make sure that you drop them below. And then also in talking about nutrients before a workout, if you're someone who loves to take a um, a, a pre-workout supplement. I just want to share with you that you want to be mindful of those. Um, sometimes too much caffeine can deplete our adrenal, you know, they, they tap into our adrenal glands so they can overextend us and we can actually feel tired through our workout. So this is a conversation I have frequently. Well, you know, I'm using a pre-workout supplement, but Oh, it just, you know, it gets, it gets their heart rate going too fast and they almost have problems getting that good, natural, refreshing amount of energy to power through your workout. So if you're interested in a clean supplement that I use pre and post workout, you can click the link below um, or in the blog post and you can see what I use. If you have any questions, let me know. But um, just regular food is going to get you all that you need. So just simple protein and carbs, pre-workout and same thing to fuel after your workout and you are well on your way to crushing your goals. So if you grab value from this, throw me a thumbs up, make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future trainings and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care guys.